Welcome to ENN, where arts collide. My name is Eric. And my name is Nina. Today our artistic theme will be Abstract Expressionism. The two artists that are featured in today's spotlight are Jackson Pollock and Wesley Kandinsky. First, let's talk about Jackson. Whoa, whoa, wait, you skipped some lines there. Oops, let's do that again. <laughs> so what is Abstract Expressionism? To understand it, we should study the two words that make up abstract expressionism. Abstract is a type of art that is different from reality, other words strange or bizarre. Started in mid-19th century, where some people started to get bored of those realistic paintings. The term, act, the term expressionism is to express intense emotion rather than physical form of an object. One good painting would be The Scream by Edvard Munch. Now that you know the two words, you should know what abstract expressionism means. What? <sighs> abstract expressionism, specifically an American movement, but it had been first used in Germany. Abstract expressionism is basically a deformed style of surrealism. Abstract Expressionism is an unexplainable and a coincident creation. It has the sense of being rebellious, different, and even untamed. Now that you know what Abstract Expressionism means, let's move on to today's spotlights. Thanks Eric. Today's spotlight are the two abstract artists, Wesley Kandinsky and Jackson Pollock. He was the father of all abstract art and the creative individual that changed the view of Western art. He was Wesley Kandinsky. Wesley Kandinsky was born in Moscow, Russia on December 4, 1866. He died in 1944 in France. At age of 30, he decided to become a painter. He dropped a career teaching law and economics and went to an art school in Munch, Germany. He was greatly influenced by music such as Richard Wagner's Lohengrin, which was an opera. He was also influenced by Haystacks at Giverny by Monet, and he was also spiritually influenced by H.B. Blavatsky and her theory of theosophy. Kandinsky called his artwork inner beauty, deep spiritual desire, and favor of spirit. His paintings are all colorful and he loved to paint pictures of circles, triangles, and squares. Kandinsky was one of the few abstract expressionist artists in Europe at his time. Who knew that random splatter of paint could be so popular? Well, that's what Jackson Pollock did. Jackson Pollock was born in Covey, Wyoming, America, in January 28, 1912. He was a very influenced artist in the abstract expressionist movement, movement, a change in the art style at that time. He was influenced by Indian sand painting and Mexican muralism and surrealism. In 1936, Pollock was introduced to the use of liquid paint, and from then on, he experiment, experiment with the use of pouring paint on canvas of, such as his work, male and female, and composition with pouring wine. Later, in 1940s, he developed his famous technique, drip, he acquired a fluid-like paint and hardened brushes. After the de development of his famous technique, many art forward to, and to this point in time, has been influenced by Polotov. Other abstract expressionism followed Polotov technique with their own style of, te of technique. In 1955, Polotov painted Scent and Search. Those two paintings were his last painting before he died in a car crash on August 11, 1956, under the influence of Polotov. That's it for today's Spotlight. <laughs>